Canavan as a senator for the LNP in Queensland. Matt, how do you feel that the Premier thinks she's the victim today? Well, Paul, um, it's, a, it's a remarkable day, as you've uh, summed up in your editorial. Uh, you know, I, I think we, we have sort of seen the destruction of the Progressive Labor Party in front of our eyes. Uh, I mean, the Labor Party always tries to put themselves out as the compassionate uh, uh, wing of, of politics. But really, the, the modern Labor Party is, is about, uh, uh, about two things. Uh, uh, one, uh, power, and, and the other, often it is money as well. And, and you heard it from the Chief Medical Officer in Queensland today. Uh, she said explicitly that she has allowed exemptions for film and entertainment uh, people because, in her words, they bring a lot of money mm. into the state. And now, I thought she was the chief medical officer and I thought she was providing advice on a public health pandemic, but apparently money can buy you access into Queensland right now under these laws. But a, a young Queenslander who just wants to say goodbye, a uh, final goodbye to her dad, uh, something that money can't buy, uh, she, she is told no. Uh, it, 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 it is just it just beggars belief, uh, and it is hard to understand here uh, the absolute heartlessness of the premier. And as you said, she's also gutless as well because yeah. the premier didn't come out and face the press this afternoon. She sent out uh, her chief medical officer to face the barrage of questions from the press, but she herself wasn't willing to uh, to face any kind of scrutiny. And she says she won't be bullied, but she can't even face up to the public. Pauline Hanson is a senator from Queensland, of course, the leader of One Nation. Pauline, the Premier thinks she's the victim, but a Queenslander was not able to see her father hug her sister. Instead, she's forced to wear the plastic mask uh, and is given a viewing of his body. This is insane, that a government gets between a family being able to yeah. mourn their father. You are exactly right, Paul. She actually pulled the female card off. Oh the victim, I'm being bullied, and she, that's exactly what she's done. It's disgraceful what's going on, and, you know, I just think she's got no compassion whatsoever. She can't possibly have. Even yesterday, Paul, we had a case where there, you had a brother and sister who come from New South Wales. The brother had been on Tweed Heads, um, at Tweed Heads for two days, couldn't get across the border, put in for an exemption, have been waiting nearly two, two days for it. And um, my office continually on to the health minister's office yesterday and other people were also, you know, trying to get them across. Finally, it was yesterday afternoon that they actually um, got across the... He got an exemption to come across to see the father who was dying, right? He had a horrific accident. The sister flew up, was sitting at the Brisbane airport waiting for that exemption to come through and then as soon as she got it, she went straight to the hospital to see the father. They didn't know how long he'd last, but he was dying. But they went through this. Um, other people that we've heard of, spoke to another woman today, she's stressed out, she can't go and see her, her husband in hospital, he's 96, he's fretting because he can't see her. All he's got is fluid retention. Nothing serious, but they won't allow her to go and see him. This is case after case that I hear about the behaviour of this this woman, and um, I'll say to people out there, you think you're, you're protected and you're safe, well, then I'd call you incompassionate as well, as Anastasia Palaszczuk. If you cannot see what is happening to families, people who cannot you know, go and see their loved ones, who are kept away from their children, I think it's absolutely disgusting. And if this is her behaviour just prior to an election, can you imagine what she's going to be like after the next election exactly. if she wins it and gets control in that parliament? And I also say to those Labor Party members who are sitting, you are no different to Anastasia Palaszczuk because I have not heard one of you stand up against her and the way she's carrying on now. Not one of you have stood in Parliament to say it's wrong or to stand up for the people of Queensland you are supposed to be representing. So as far as I'm concerned, you're all in the same boat and um, you make me sick. Here, here. Couldn't have said it better myself. Bronwyn, she thinks she's the victim. I mean, I just... Today is a disgusting day. Isn't it interesting that a socialist who bullies people continually now claims to be bullied. The truth of the matter is that this woman's idea of compassion is to deny that young woman the right to see her father while he was warm and alive and denied her the right to see him at the funeral in the burial. 
And yet, she's given permission for her to see him as a cold, dead body. That is not compassion. You cannot have compassion, Paul, unless you care about individuals. Correct. And socialists don't care about individuals. They rule for collectives. There is no place in a socialist heart for the mother who was supposed to go to hospital in Brisbane and was told that a Brisbane hospital is only for people who live in Queensland, and she lost one of those twins. Yep. There's no place for four children to be chosen, which one can go and say goodbye to their father, it sounds like Sophie's choice. Mm. It's the most horrendous lack of compassion or caring. I said I was finished with her when she wouldn't allow that mother to go to the, the Queensland Hospital. Uh, today is truly disgusting. Mm. As you outlined, how is it that our country has got into this mess? How is it that we have premiers who simply lie that get away with it, there is no pulling them into line. We have got so much we've got to answer for. But she has to be held responsible this is the thing. for what she's doing. And, 